Good morning, Primerica. I am so excited right now. Things are so incredible. I absolutely love this business like you can't believe. And I just wanted to uh, just, just let all, all you out there and, uh, and, and all over the country know that uh, we're going to deliver a, an awesome show today. And we're going to teach you some things on how to take your business to the next level. And uh, I just, I, you know, today's theme is, is do it now and, and, and why you need to have a, you know, make a decision and have a mindset about doing it now. It says a man who waits for roast duck, you know, to fly in the mouth, right? will wait a very, very long time. Um, and, uh, and, and I just, uh, and I believe that we all got to make a decision that this is our time, that the time is now to do it now and to make it happen now. And uh, we, we have some great people coming up and I'm going to introduce them. Uh, but I just, I wanted to just tell you that, you know, Primerica makes dreams come true. And today we have a show of a bunch of new people who never been on, uh, on TV before, on, on EPN before, and, and we're just so excited and so proud of them. And, and our first guest, this guy is, is an absolute superstar, and uh, you know, Gus Torres, in the last year, last, been licensed about 12 months, um, he, uh, his first year in Primerica has made uh, over almost uh, about $40,000. Uh, he's averaged 9000 in personal production, uh, three directs per month, um, eight code numbers. And uh, so he's licensing, he's recruiting, he's leading from the front. And uh, uh, he also won Atlantis. Uh, he's, the, he's at the, the ripe old age of 21 years old. And uh, before Primerica, guys, he was making 12 hundred dollars a month and actually he told me it was about nine hundred dollars a month and so uh, so this guy is on fire he truly is leading from the front and truly is inspiring the masses so I want you guys to give a big round of applause uh, to the the amazing Gus Torres <laughs> Well, I'm so excited to be here, guys. Thanks a lot for the support. First of all, I want to thank my coach, Daniel Alonzo, for his leadership, his mentorship, and, and Karma Alonzo. You know, I know you guys are back home at Karma, and I really appreciate everything you guys have done for us and, and Evie and everything. What I'm going to talk about today is um, really key. I mean, Daniel said it right now. I did three recruits and 9000 in premium for the last 12 months. And 100% of the reason for that is because I, I, I mastered how to get a new recruit to a fast start. So I'm going to talk about three keys which really helped me make this happen. Right, the, the first key I'm going to talk about is, you know, you got to teach your recruit, your new recruit, how to set up an appointment. That's really key because, you know, the first thing you do, you set up a, you know, you recruit them, you set up a new, new recruit packet 24 to 48 hours right away as soon as you recruit them. So the first thing I do, I teach them how to make an appointment. So we do their top 25 list and I make sure I, I sit down with them and I tell them, all right, so we do the market, married kids, homeowners, you know, 20, age 25 to 45, full time, 25,000 in income. And, you know, obviously I role play with them. I tell them, okay, so who are you going to call your first appointment? Let's say I'm sitting down with, you know, this girl. She's really awesome, Maria Mondohana, right? So she's really good at making appointments. So let's say she's going to call her aunt. So she calls her aunt. I tell her, what's your name, your aunt? All right, her name's, um, you know, her name's, you know, let's say Sharon or something, right? So, all right, she's calling her aunt, and she's telling her, all right, you know, I'm really excited. I started working in this new company, and I actually was doing my training right now. And I was wondering, you know, I really value your opinion. I actually want you to, you know, I want you to give me your opinion what you think of how I'm doing. And I just want about 30 to 45 minutes of your time. You think you'll help me out with that, right? you help me out with that, right? And she's going to say, yeah, of course. Great. When can I sit down with you? During the week or the weekends? Okay, the weekends? Great. Um, Saturday or Sunday? Sunday? Okay, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock? Great. Is, is my uncle going to be there too? He's going to be there, your husband, right? Oh, yeah, he'll be here. Okay, make sure you guys are both there. You know, my credibility of my training is really important. Please don't stand me up. You know, I really appreciate it. And, you know, just you know, write it down your calendar. I'm going to be there. I'll show up. Make sure you guys bring, buy me lunch or something. Give me some lunch, cook some nice, you know, food for both of us, right? And definitely, right? And I'll see you there at 3. Don't forget, I really appreciate it. I'll see you there, okay? Great. So that's the first thing we do. And then we role play. And when I do, I make her get on the phone, right? We recruit. And then, we, you know, we, we role play a couple of times. Maybe, maybe make some phone calls. Make sure she's doing good. And as soon as she gets it down, great. So the second thing, so make sure they know how to make a pun. It's really important, okay? Second key is have a sense of urgency. I mean, that's really important, having a sense of urgency, right? So this is what I do. Having a sense of urgency to, to get recruits so fast start is really key. Sometimes you get a new recruit and they go on six appointments, let's say in about a month. I try to get my recruits to go on six appointments within the first 10 days, the first week, right, as soon as possible. So some of the things I do is I call them, let's say it's Friday, and I tell them, how many appointments are you going to have for the week? I might have three appointments. Great, who are you going to call? I'm going to call this person, that person. Okay, so that list, are you ready? I, call, I tell them, okay, great. Do you want to get the faster award? They're like, yeah, of course I'm going to get it. Okay, how bad do you want it from a scout of one to ten? They're like, a ten. All right, great. 
Let me ask a question. If you, if you locked yourself in the room, let's say you turned your TV off, you did everything. All you did, you locked yourself in the room for about, about you know, an hour or two. Can you make five appointments? And that's all you thought about the whole time. They're going to say yes. Okay, make sure. So you really want to win it. I want you to have five appointments. Great. So I don't want you to call me back in an hour or I'm going to call you back. So that's what they do. And I make sure, I, you know, I follow up with them. How many points do you have? Well, I have two appointments. Great. You need three more to go. Oh, I got three. Great. Two more appointments. You're so awesome. By the way, if you have five appointments, I'm going to buy you lunch tomorrow in training. After training, you're going to have five appointments. But think about it. Tomorrow you're going to be. You're going to have five points a week. You're going to be the number one person unlicensed in the office. Is that exciting or what? Imagine that, right? When you get a recruit, guess what they're going to do? They're going to do the same thing as you, right? And then that's, the, you know, that's what I do right there as far as getting the sense of urgency, right? And then I'll actually you know, make sure that they, they compete. Get your new, new recruit to compete. So let's say I get another recruit and I do the exact same thing I did. Get them, you know, teach them how to make appointments, have a sense of urgency, have a sense of urgency. And then what I do, I get them to compete. I say, I say things like, you're not going to let so-and-so beat you, right? Of course not. So what I do, I text them when they have so many appointments, they, they set up an appointment, I text their person, so-and-so is going to beat you, and make sure that they, they compete and they compete. And then when they're on stage, obviously, they're going to want to, you know, pretty much kill each other in a, in a good way, right? They, they want to compete. And that's really awesome because at the end of the day, they both win. They both get the fast road award, and, they, you know, they're both competing to win. And at the end of the day, they don't, they're not even worried about overcoming objections. They're not worried about nothing. All they're worrying about is winning. And because of that, you know, I think I've done, you know, really good. So as long as you focus on those three keys, right, you're going to have a lot of success, right? And, you know, um, as far as that, right, and as a result, what's going to happen after, if you do that consistently, you get three directs a month, you're going to have 10 appointments a week. You get three recruits, right, they average three appointments a, uh, about a week, you're going to have 10 appointments a week, you're going to do 10000 in premium, you're going to make money, and you're going to be pretty excited, right? And, you know, that's what I did the last 12 months, right? With that said, and I'm really excited also, you know, with, that's, that's my son right there, I see him on the picture, I mean, that's, that's my dream right there. Yeah, so. All right. So, I mean, I was really excited about that, right? It's, it's, I, he's a year old. No, I mean, a year, I mean, just my story quick. I was, I was 19 years old when I started this company, right? And it, it was tough, you know, because you're 19, you don't have too much credibility, right? So I told my family they could help me out. They, didn't, they were not too supportive, but I just kept on going, kept on fighting. And, and, and obviously, right, look what happened. I mean, the last 12 months, I got licensed in June of 2008. I mean, it's so exciting. I actually, you know, my first month, I made $3,000, right? So it shows, it shows everyone. It doesn't matter, right? I made three thousand dollars. The next month, I made five thousand dollars. I threw the first pitch at Dodger Stadium. I mean, that was really, that was really exciting. I mean, thanks to my my coach Daniel, and and I qualified for the for Atlantis contest. And a year later, now I'm here sitting in front of you, and I'm actually came to EPN. That was one of my goals. I wrote it down. I think that was goal number seventy six. Well, I, I let me get the highlighter <laughs> right there. I'm right here. So <laughs> exactly right. So if you know, it doesn't matter if if you really want. See, there's nothing different between me and you. I'm not the smartest guy. When I graduated high school. I was number four from the whole class out of 500 people in East LA, but from the bottom four, so I just graduated. <laughs> so you don't have to be that smart. You know, just, the difference between me and you is that I was so sick and tired of being sick and tired, but I decided to do something about it. I took a stand. Most of you people are worrying about the economy. I was not that smart. I didn't even know what the economy meant, honestly. I probably got an F in that class, but I knew that I wanted to win. While most of the people were watching TV, I was making money. I was getting recruits. I was training people. I was making it happen, right? right? While people were, you know, signing the nightmare, I was signing the dream, right? I'm 21 years old. And I ain't going to stop, you know? And I mean, the next four months, I'm going to be an RVP. And one of these days, I'm going to be hosting EPN, just like you guys. All right? All right, with that said, guys, you know, if you want to be a dish leader, do it now. If you want to change your life, do it now. If you want to produce, do it now. If you want to make money, do it now. If you want to go to Hawaii and Las Vegas, do it now. This is your chance to change your life. Do it now. Thank you very much. Thank you.